So now we're going to make the tritone buzzer. So if you get a breadboard and get the buzzer with the short negative leg on in the very corner, then we can get buttons, put one there, one there, and one there, making sure that they're all spaced one hole apart. Now we can get one wire and put it there and put the other end there. So what this jump wire does is it carries the current from this row of the breadboard to this row. Now we can get another jump wire and put it underneath that one and put the other end there. So then the current will go from here to here and to here as well. Now we can get another jump wire and put it in this hole here, so three holes away from the edge. And we can put it there. Now we need another one. So this jump wire will carry the current from the buttons when we connect them to the buzzer. So now we can get another jump wire and put it in this hole by the other leg of the first button and bring it over to the same row as the other one. So, we can get one of these 330 ohm resistors and put it there and put the other end here. Now I can get the other 330 ohm resistor and put one end there and the other end there. Make sure that these wires, the any what no wires touch. get the 10,000 ohm resistor and put one leg in that hole there make sure it doesn't touch that other resistor and put the other end in that hole there So if we take the red positive end of the battery pack and plug it in just behind this this orange wire there, then we can get the black negative end. We can get the negative end and plug it in here. Now we can turn it on and test it. So, when you turn the battery pack on, current flows through the positive red wire and into the left side of this button. And then through through this orange jump wire, it flows to the left side of that button. 
and through this other orange jump wire, it flows to the left side of that button. For example, when you press this button, the current flows through this green wire, and then through this other green wire to the to positive side of the button. When you press this one, it flows through two 330 ohm resistors here and here, and then it flows through the conductor in the breadboard, through that wire, into the positive side of the buzzer again. Then when you press this button, it flows through the, the 10,000 ohm resistor into the breadboard conductor, and again, through this green wire to the positive side of the buzzer. Then it flows through t from the negative side of the buzzer through this black wire and back to the battery, completing the circuit.